Okay, so for today's lesson, guys, we're doing lesson 7-13, and it's on page 264 and 265. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to measure these different insects. And if you turn to that page in your math book, you'll notice that next to each insect, there is a line. And so that line is the beginning and the end of the size of the insect. And you'll see some of the lines aren't quite as long, but that's just because its legs sticking out or wings. They're actually just measuring the size of the thorax of the body. Um, so anyway, with measuring to the nearest eighth inch, the first thing you have to do is make sure that you're measuring on inches, okay? And inches are the larger ones. There's 12 inches in a foot. And if you flip your ruler over, the other side is centimeters, but we're not gonna do those just now. So we're gonna measure these first things um, with inches. And if you look at the ruler, there's a start line. Generally, these wooden rulers do not start right at the edge of the wood. They start where the first mark is printed. So for the green lacewing, I'm gonna have to turn it sideways. And I'm gonna go from the very beginning just to this line right here, okay? And when I look at that line, I notice that this is the half inch line, which is four eighths. And so it measures to one more. So that green lace wing will be five eighths. The boreal firefly, that one is going, if I start right here, it's going to this spot right there. And if I look on my ruler, I can tell this is one fourth or two eighths. So I would say that one would be three eighths. And it's really hard to tell on these rulers, especially um, on a video like this. So if you have a ruler, great. Um, this one has the school smart label right in the middle of the measurements, sorry for that. Uh, this one again is, here's uh, beginning. And then this one is that one half mark which is four eighths and it goes one more. So the paper wasp again is five eighths. The Carolina mantid, so it goes all the way from one inch. There's one fourth, two fourths and three fourths. So one and three fourths. But I know that we're talking about eighths. So for the Carolina Mantid, I would have to convert this three-fourths into eighths. And so that equals one and six-eighths, okay? Because we have to make it three, we have to make it into eighths. And the green June beetle, okay? So that one, here is my halfway mark, which is four-eighths, five-eighths and that's the six eighths. Okay. The yellow bumblebee, starting at that beginning line again, and all the way here. Oh, look at that six eighths also. Ooh, the American cockroach. We had lots of those when I lived in Maui, but they were the cute little white ones too, the little flying ones, but these are the big ones, yay. Okay, and you'll notice that that goes all the way from one to one and a half, and one and a half, but again, we know that we have to label everything in eighths because that's what we're measuring to. So one and a half equals one and four eighths. And then the red-legged grasshopper, and that one is exactly one inch, one inch.